Well, for the first time in my life, I'm completely satisfied and happy with the professionalism and how the government handled my issue. If you guys haven't seen it, this is a follow-up to a prior video. I'll link that video in the description, so if you're curious about this topic or just want to figure out what the heck I'm talking about, go to the description and find it there. Uh, but basically, at the Derby Canyon Retreat, which for our, my followers know that's a campground rental test bed proof of concept for a bigger vision of creating sustainable communities that I have. And I received a cease and desist letter uh, about a month or so ago because I was running multiple campsites on my property. And that letter stated that I was in violation of Chelan County short term uh, housing rental laws. And Basically, I wrote them back a very detailed email after doing further research because I knew that I'm not subject to those laws because I do not have dwellings or permanent housing. And in a polite, full, respectful way, starting the conversation, letting them know I definitely want to be in compliance with the law and I want to work in partnership with the government and not be a pain or, you know, <clears throat> too difficult to deal with. And I think that made a big difference because I outlined the three different definitions that are applicable to the letter they sent me. I basically, in a respectful and detailed way, sh mentioned that the definition of a short-term rental is permanent housing, campgrounds and vacant land are not subject, and then I further researched the definition of a campground, which is two or more campsites on private property. So basically, from my findings and research, I realized that I do need to reduce down to one single campground, which is allowed in Chelan County without additional permitting or things like that. I'll also mention I'm not adverse to getting permits. I think that in some applications, they make a ton of sense, especially when you're dealing with waste and electric and that kind of thing. Uh, however, I could not get a permit as a campground based on our location. So it wasn't an option for me. Otherwise, I would have probably preferred to go through the formal process of becoming a campground licensed and permitted and maybe ramping up my operations to act like it. But that wasn't a possibility based on our location in the mountains and you need to use a forest access road. So I basically responded back to the sheriff's code enforcement department, who is the signing entity on the letter I received and shared with them my findings, asked them if I was missing anything and basically let them know that my plans are to reduce from three campsites to one, that I feel based on everything I'm reading online, that means I'm not subject to short-term rental housing laws, that by offering just one single campsite per parcel, I'm not subject to campground laws and jurisdiction. And basically they responded back in short with your right. Um, you know, it was a little bit more detailed than that, obviously, but once I sent them that detailed letter and I did start the appeal process because I wanted to go through the formal and legal process to deal with this, uh, the sheriff's department basically wrote me back and said, you are correct. We are rescinding the cease and desist, which basically means canceling it. They sent me my check back that I sent to appeal it and clarified with me that as long as you reduce down to one campsite you have no permanent structures or dwellings that you are fine to continue on and i'm extremely happy with that response it seems like they were open-minded and you know understood where i was coming from i do think it definitely helps that i started that conversation by letting them know i want to be in compliance i want to work with you guys not against you and went about it in a way where i'm just using facts and no feelings no personal or anything like that and very, very happy with that response. You know, will anything else come out of this? Maybe, um, but I just promised you guys I'd keep you updated. There's not gonna be an appeal. They sent me my money back for the appeal fee. And at this point in time, I have it in writing from that sheriff's office that as long as I'm operating as a single campsite, that I'm not infringing or operating illegally. And I'm extremely happy with that conversation and with how that went about. So again, kind of like I was really harping on in that first video, if you guys are looking into short-term rentals or your real estate owners or really any private citizen who's receiving communications from the government that doesn't seem right or that you know from your own personal research that is incorrect, you know, don't be afraid in a polite, respectful way to push back because that's exactly what happened here and if i wasn't so passionate about this becoming a bigger business for me if this wasn't a proof of concept which i understood would require also better understanding county laws how the offices operate and all those things um, i might have just you know read that letter realized or thought that i couldn't do what i was doing and, and stopped uh, so i just want to be a voice of reason out there that in a friendly, respectful way. If we push back and clarify, we can oftentimes 
hold government accountable and responsible for what they are actually in charge of, what their d- jurisdiction allows. And I just have to say I'm very happy and satisfied with how the county responded, and I hope to work in partnership with them. And now this is a learning opportunity for me, now knowing that I can only offer one campsite per parcel or that I need to make sure that when I buy land in the future, it can meet the requirements of a campground or already is permitted as a campground so that I can operate two, 10, 20 campsites on my future projects and development. So this is the update to that. If you have no idea what I'm talking about and want to better um, educate yourself on short-term rental laws, especially in Chelan County here in Washington, take a look at that link in the description. Uh, Take a look at the definitions I included there and arm yourself with information because all of this is relatively new. Uh, It moves fairly quickly as far as changes and adaptions and I just want to be here to share my findings, my learnings, the county's response to help other glamp ground owners or personal or private property owners who are renting their stuff out to know that you can do it. The county has been acting reasonable and this is the follow-up to that where there'll be no appeal and we'll continue to market the single campsite for rent. And if you're ever in Washington or the Leavenworth area looking for a really awesome place to stay, be sure to check out uh, the rental. I believe there's a link in the description and if not, leave a comment and I can get that to you. But it's a beautiful site out there. You've probably seen it in my other videos. And if not, like always, be sure to subscribe so you can see all the videos of all the off-grid self-sustaining projects that we do at the Derby Canyon Retreat. And not only is it a proof of concept and a test bed for what's legal and making sure that we're operating in compliance with the law, it's also a test bed and a proof of concept for these off-grid utilities. Like we have a solar-powered well, uh, we have experimental waste um, processing through a biogas house. And uh, again, if that's the kind of stuff you're interested in, be sure to subscribe click for notifications. I'm going to have more videos coming out in the coming months as we continue to do more projects, both at the retreat and at my cabin. So stay tuned and I look forward to connecting. Be sure to comment and let me know what your thoughts and feedback is as we continue to build a community that's dedicated to self-reliance and sustainable living. My mission is self-reliance through sustainable living and we're here to build a community. Click here to subscribe to be sure to get more awesome content for living off the land. And be sure to go in to enter for notifications. Click that bell, get notifications, and stay in tune. Subscribe, watch, and comment. Let's build a community. See you soon.